la 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 Yay, monster in the sky! Welcome. Hey there. See us, you know you like Turtle it. Doom. All right, so uh, go ahead. Okay, yeah, you will so comply. Grab me a game. Brandon, your game is Donkey okay. Kong Country 2. Why do I do sound effects for that? I don't need to do multiple sound effects. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country 2, though. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country 2. All right. Wait a second. Is that how? how is is that why you were playing with the duck saying it was a gorilla? What are you talking about? It's a duck, and it has nothing to do with the gorilla. All right, let's pick up. There we go. So, uh, Master Drive, tell me what's up. Hey, could possibly match Donkey Kong. Your game is Donkey Kong Country. Oh, oh. that's an obvious answer to that question. <laughs> well, you know what? These are two similar games, but they're both pretty good, and I don't know if anyone's really answered the question, which one of these is better? Yeah. I mean, now we have now Donkey we have. Kong Country 2. Yeah, okay, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, so I guess let's start playing. Let's go to the gameplay. Quap? We're not gonna play Quap. Ah, oh, that's some memories right there. <laughs> you know, Rare's got so much nostalgia built into them, it actually kind of starts to pour out into the streets when their door opens. It really is. They're like the Nintendo of game companies. This, the, this game, this game is great because it has that Rare feel to it, uh -huh. um, which combines the old Nintendo like. Uh, so the thing with that sort of hip 90s swing. Well, and it's also got, you, you have some nostalgia now for Rare as a company. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's walk into this alligator's mouth. That's a good idea. Yeah, we're walking behind the alligator's mouth. We're stepping on his head. I like that the game starts in right away with, like, some just craziness. Do, do, do. Do, 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 Can do. I play this game without getting all the secrets? <laughs> I'm not sure if I can. I'm just like, there's an extra life there. There is an extra life there. There's use, an, there's use an the... extra life here. Oh. That's after you beat the game. Right, after you beat the game, there's an extra <laughs> life there. <laughs> now I must get the rhinoceros and knock through the hole in the wall. You know, it's just like, it's... Grab it's... me! I don't... Oh, there. Eat it! Eat it! Eat I'm surprised it. that these guys aren't... I'm... Uh, speed run! <laughs> That's the most depressing speed run ever. So we were. Oh well, you sucked. But now you. You missed. sucked it up. But you know what? I am really good at giving. Hit. Clomp. Uh, Clomp. I should make you kill those guys. <laughs> uh, oh, there. And oh, and you dropped the thing. And I dropped the one thing that would have brought me back immediately. Oh, these controls are awkward. Like, not the game itself, but the way we have it set up. I can't remember his name! Rhino guy! Rambo? Rambi? Rambi. It's Turner. like Bambi, but with a rhinoceros. Wouldn't Rambi have... Rambo have been amazing if it had starred a rhinoceros? Yeah, didn't uh, it? <laughs> oh, hey, look. I got an extra life. Hey, I'm a rhinoceros! <laughs> and it's like, it, it's like straps, um... It straps uh, a weapons grade TNT to its tusks yeah. and just sort of like smashes through everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you wouldn't want to have TNT strapped to your tusks, I want to say. I don't have any tusks. I don't know. Maybe That's it would be refreshing. Maybe. Mm. No, I'm holding the wrong button. I keep holding down are the jump getting, button. Are you getting sucked into the exit? Yeah, kind of. Yay! I won! Diddy Kong won! Diddy Kong is the best at everything! Oh boy! Wait, is it Mickey, Mickey Mouse? Mouse. Is it? Diddy Kong is the best at everything! I can't remember what that horrible cartoon, the, the voice for the horrible cartoon was. The cartoon wasn't that horrible. Uh oh! Even worse! We're in a jam. You're not kidding, DK! If you don't help me, then it looks like we're being. Uh, DK. Oh, don't even start Donkey that. Donkey Kong. DK. Ah! Donkey uh, Kong is here. I'm sorry, but they Grant Kirkhope owes us all an apology. Yeah, he is <laughs> not Run DMC. I think he was going for like a parody at the time, but it still makes me angry inside. Yeah, it is still the most racist thing that has ever happened. <laughs> ever. Yeah. Ever. There's like, the Ku Klux Klan was like, whoa, whoa, whoa that guys. DK rap is, like, off I offends, think, offends me. I think I dropped down here. 
Okay. The great thing about one of the great things about the Donkey Kong Country series, but uh, but I think the first one really pioneered it, yeah. is the idea that pretty much there, anywhere where you shouldn't go, there's something. Yeah. Pretty much, like if like, like, like every once in a while it screws with you and goes, no, you're just dead. Yeah. But like pretty much anywhere you're like, well, there's a hole here and yeah. it's kind of unexplained. I think I should jump down it. Yeah. Well, it's, Mega Man X had the same kind of thing. There's, well, it always taught you to sort of slide down the walls. And this the isn't the Mega Man X episode. Don't yeah, mention know. it. Nope, at all. Oh, I think I fucked up. No, oh, there you go. You know what? What you know what? Feel, you know what's great about the um about that tire thing? What? It is it? It does feel like something that belongs in the gorilla enclosure. It does, and I, and I feel a little bit like this game takes place in like a, a, a gorilla enclosure. It does. Uh, that's what I think. They trapped all these. It's like a zoo island. Evacuate the island. Oh, God. Run! Throw your hat and blink. Throw your hat and wink. Throw your this hat. This was also like a huge moment where, where they sort of said, yeah, we can make a 3D game that isn't ugly. Yeah. Like, these 3D sprites that people didn't think could be done on Super NES until this game came out. Oh. Um... They're they're not ugly. No, they're not. It's weird to yeah. think about. There was like, a period, guys. If you're a young person, if you're a young person, there's a period. Speaking of that, oh. <laughs> start being old boy. If you're the young, if you're one of the youngins, you one you should know. There was a period where all 3D graphics were terrible, and everyone wanted to make them. And that period was from 1999 till 2015. <laughs> Oh, snap! Take that! And take that, uh, Destiny. And take that, various remakes that now use 3D graphics instead of their original nice sprite graphics. You've killed my childhood! Monkey Island Remastered. Bad 3D graphics can't really kill my childhood. My dad already did that. Ding! Blake was killed in, uh, 1984. <laughs> uh, he's a reanimated corpse now. I was killed in 1984 by, um, George Orwell. Yeah. He was mad that his book didn't come true. I like making jokes about how terrible my dad is, even though he was pretty good. <laughs> Apart from the fact that... Whoops. Him... Thanks for killing both of us. Hey! <laughs> Apart from the fact that him and my mom basically had a divorce and he didn't realize it. <sighs> Oops. Oops. Give me back. I, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> My, my dad was so engrossed in his schooling that he actually didn't realize that he was separated from his wife. Yeah. Well, you know, life goes on. Life goes That's on. That's one of the things I don't like about this game is the fact that Donkey Kong holds the barrel above his head. It makes opening things just unnecessarily difficult with him. You know what's interesting about uh, about uh, barrels in the whole Donkey Kong Country series, and this one again pioneers that, yeah. is that pretty much there isn't a barrel. Where, like, if I pick up a barrel, my immediate thought in a Donkey Kong Country game is like, well, I shouldn't throw it. I'm going to hold on to this I'm going to hold on to this until the whole level's done. <laughs> oh, great. Is there like a Nuzlocke run where you carry a barrel through the whole game? <laughs> These bees are too big! I really like to think Beat in this game... My you... bees are too big! <laughs> is, the whole point is just you escorting my an invincible... bees are too big! An invincible monkey through the whole game. Oh, wait, I think... Isn't there a hole here or something? I think so. It's I want to get... Good. I'm going to get this one. Nope. <laughs> nope. I think there's one on the other side. Let's try the other side. No, I think it's out to the right. You think okay, so? it's not in there. I know that. But look at that. That guy's a special color. Yeah, no, that's just to make you jump over because you can't kill him. That's why. But I want to do it. Okay. I want to smash this into okay. the wall. We don't, we're not going to get 100% completion. We're going to get 100% completion in the next in the, two minutes. In the next two minutes of gameplay. Yeah, he's in here. So if you throw it. Because if you hit him, that'll just break. Oh, really? It doesn't it's smash right into the wall? No, you have to throw it into there. Um, no, I think I think you can smash an enemy and just, I just can. was going in the wrong direction. Yeah, but I've no it's hard to get. Well fuck it, who cares about secrets anyway? Secrets are for chumps. Secrets are for chumps. Woohoo, I got a secret! <laughs> oh no. Bananas. This like, is, this my life has gotten significant. I like the worse. idea that somebody stole all these bananas and like buried them. And buried them and they were just like, ah, ha, ha, we've got all your bananas now. And, like they went rotten about an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're never gonna make get your bananas back. I wonder if you look at the time. Why did you put them under the dirt? Because we're lizards. We have yeah. very little brain power to work these things out. 
That would explain a lot, actually, just why they were so... Why are lizards so dumb? Brendan, they're not lizards. That's offensive. There's a couple crazy reptiles traveling around, traveling through the earth and traveling through the ground. See, and I just want to bash myself... Welcome to Tasmania. Come to Tasmania. Mm. I want I want to go through all the invisible walls too, and just be like, you know, I, I was thinking, wall? I was thinking, cause I was thinking like, yeah, you know, old RPGs, you'd always have to run around pressing A against every wall and pressing against it. That was only really Final Fantasy IV, but that game taught me to always push. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> always push against every wall because there might be invisible, and your television isn't good enough to detect the color difference. 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 I was gonna say differential, but then I decided not to. But then I still had started pronouncing it that way. And who, should... who put who put a, a swordfish in a box? That's my question to the to the world. A sushi cook. I I, <laughs> I think I also just sort of gave up and drifted downwards. Oh, Marlin. Hey, I'm Marlin Brando. Yeah, Marlin Brando. They really took the animal thing directly from Yoshi, didn't they? Like um, they, they they used basically the exact same programming. What? How is this like Yoshi? Because when you hit him, he runs away. All the animals work that way. Oh, okay. Another end guard! There really there. shouldn't be two. <laughs> Complete silence. Whee! For a very long period Oops. of time. You forgot to roll, my my funky my funky friend. Should have done a barrel roll. <laughs> that was really satisfying. <laughs> that was satisfying for me and I hated it. <laughs> uh, you sound just like all my girlfriends. No, your girlfriends are always like, that was really unsatisfying for me. Also, ow! I'm so dry! <laughs> Just looking Drop at the grand... Oh, your time now. Oh. I love these little things. Just looking at you was enough... Your ugly face was enough to take the sopping wet <laughs> glitters. And sopping wet glitters? And transform it into a barren wasteland. A hellhole under which no man may survive. Uh... One does not simply walk into my girlfriend's vagina. <laughs> One does not simply walk into my girlfriend's vagina. I just said it again, but in a slightly different voice. Yeah, well done. Um, no, um, I was brought back to Middle Earth where it's like, like, no man may kill me. Yeah. Well, I'm a vagina. <laughs> you should recut that so it's just actually vagina saying it. Fool. No man. But still, when I play, like, I now have Donkey Kong Country Returns If you shoot, not Yeah, yeah if I miss, then you go through it. Yeah. That's a good thing, yeah. Um, I still have, I have Donkey Kong Country Returns. Not Don I, I didn't get the second one yet. Yeah, Tropical Phrase. But it's, it takes a long time to play through those games, because I'm just like, because I don't know the secrets. So I'm just like, well, maybe this... <laughs> Maybe this brick wall has something in it. Nope. What about slightly higher than that? Nope. Nope. What about slightly below that? What about slightly, yeah, so what about slightly to the side of the wall and like facing the other way? Now you have to oh, carry no. this. Ah, did you wrong? You can maybe stop calling yourself did you wrong now after now oh, we've maybe. finally done this bullshit. Yay, I got the G. How do I spell? Okay. <laughs> Call me 1900, how do I spell? And this lady creeps me out and I don't like her. She's a bit, a bit weird, isn't she? Because they tried to make her sexy. And, and that's just weird. It makes me un, feel unpleasant. <laughs> I, I like my invisible, my invincible, <laughs> your invincible gorilla idea. Yeah. And he's the one actually doing the hurt. See. I like Boom. that. I like that the first boss already beats like the three hit thing of like n Nintendo. Yeah. And but like, so like it's enough that the first time you play through this, you're probably like, yeah, I just died. Why did I die? Yeah. And also, I like how you got like 80 billion bananas there. Oh, now I went to my favorite level. He has levels. got way too many bananas. I'm glad that the Kremlings stole his fucking bananas. Because look at how many bananas he got from one boss. And there's is, eight of those guys. And they'll last for a week. He is a horrible person. Let's play a bit of Donkey Kong Country 2 and maybe he won't be there anymore. Ah, uh, more memories. This seems oddly reminiscent. This, this is like the exact same thing. There's like no difference. This is a year. They turned this game around in a year. That's pretty impressive. Maybe they already made the game when they finished the first one. They're just like, like, no, this is too much good. We have to save it for a sequel. Because it, it, it does feel like Donkey Kong Country Returns 2 uh, is a similar problem. Like, oh look, Team is the second choice. This yeah, because they realize people like that more. It's fun getting all the secrets in this game. No. I think there's even more secrets and they're even like harder to get. Yeah. They all like oh, get off me. Get off my back, woman. 
I do like how she has like a banana for hair. Her hair is ridiculous. Yeah. Also, why does the why is a monkey blonde? Oh, oh, I could have got the banana coin too. From coin. Yeah, there's so much stuff in this game. It's kind of ridiculous how many secrets there are in Donkey like, Kong. It didn't get too. as ridiculous as like Donkey Kong 64, or like Guinness Book of yeah, World yeah, Records. Yeah, I kind of want to take a look. I've never played Donkey Kong 64, and I kind of want to like play it just to like see how ridiculous it can possibly be. There was like I like how there was like you revved up there to go through an open door. No, no, I smashed the door open with my horn. Oh, well, well, fine, fine, fine. I'm just ruining your fun. Do you have a bit on that? Do you have a bit on running through an open door? Yep. It's 11. Was, was, was Elsa going through it before me? Because he closed that open door. Turn away and slip For the first time in forever, I remember a lyric. There it's been go. a long time since I remember a lyric. Do you climb faster like you do in Donkey Kong uh, Baby? Donkey Kong Jr.? Do you climb faster by grabbing with both hands? I don't know. I always try to avoid it because I think it climb you climb slow, but that's probably wrong. I don't even. I've said the word Donkey Kong so much now. I no longer know what I'm even referencing or talking ah, about. These guys scare me. I literally was talking about Donkey Kong Junior for the arcade and NES. Yeah. And you and calling it Donkey Kong Country Returns. I'm I so actually lost. knew what you were talking about. Too. I'm so lost in the word Donkey Kong <laughs> that like. <laughs> Like, I don't know, if you went back to this episode and counted the number of times that we said Donkey Kong... DONKEY KONG COUNTER! Oh, please don't make me do this. <laughs> what are those things? What is that guy? It's a, I, I just noticed, it's a guy in like a little skirt, like a loin, green loincloth, with a headband. What? Is, what? See, he has a headband, with like two strings going I'm, down. I'm... See? And what is he doing? He's like, climbing he's, up he's the rope like, and then going down going, Woo! He's the worst pirate ever. Do? Yeah. And what a bonus level can do? I, one thing I do like, too, is how it has, like, the official secret levels, like the one I'm in now, the bonus things. Yeah. And also just, like, you know, lives hidden also. There's also just lives and stuff hidden, like in the first one. Yeah. The one thing I find funny about this is that every time they finish a bonus level, they just run off. They're the, like, get the fuck out of here. Things that only you can be do. Be Bill! It's me! Or you! <laughs> oh, God. I do like how when you die from falling, both of you survive, and I love that. I love that they do little things like that. Oh, well, you can just put an enemy down there for no reason? Yeah, just so when you land, you kill it, and you're like, yeah, take that, you joik. More games need to start with- Whoa, what the? I did not push that! Okay, here's something that I don't understand, and maybe I just don't know that much about it. You know, Americans are obsessed with Herman Melville's, um, uh... White fat ass? Yeah, the big fat white whale thing. Yeah. They must all read it in high school. Like, it, as a Canadian, Look. I never read that book. And I have read some ponderous tomes. I have read some very boring it... books. I'm not gonna follow. And I have read some oh. interesting, <laughs> cool <laughs> novels. But I've never read that one. And I have the feeling that, like, it must be part of the American curriculum. Like I think it is. Because everybody, even stupid writers who don't know much, are always like, Well, reminds me of Moby Dick. Which, and they always use the same words, too. They're always like, uh, symbolist, uh, tome that explores, like, they always use much of the same language. Yeah. So it must be part of, like, their SATs or something like that. I, yeah, and if you're an American, tell us when you read Moby Dick and, and why. why. Because we know... Because no what, sane person would. Which, who wants to do that? Yeah, come on. Whee! I never get the timing on that right. Was there, was there a secret there that I missed? Well, no, just the drift down oh, and follow the banana yeah. trail. Drift Which now. sounds a lot naughtier than I oh, this said is, it was. This is poison water, isn't it? No, that's a later level. Oh. This is poison water in a later level, isn't it? Yes. That really looks like it's trying Look to be Look at how many, yourself. like, bananas are just sitting around, like, like, what's Donkey Kong's problem? There is literally well, bananas no, yeah, everywhere. He, this, this is, these are all the bananas that the pirates have taken, though. I know, but there's so many. Like, you can find bananas everywhere. Like, how many bananas does one gorilla need? Well, no, that's, I you're say... not trying to find bananas in this game, Blake. No, I know that, but you were in the If you go back, game. you can get secrets. And you are in all the, um, you're trying to find the bananas in all the other Donkey Kong Country games. Yeah. Why don't you take, like, there's at least, like, three or four lives worth of bananas. I just gave you that. I was like, I could easily avoid that skate. Skate? It's a skate. I think it's a... You think it's a ray? Yeah. Looks a bit more like a skate to me. Get, get, a, get a video... A videotape of the actor who played Ray on 
on Ghostbusters. On uh, the the animated series. The like animated the, series. The real Ghostbusters. Yeah, from, not the fake movie one. No, wait a minute. The, okay. Uh, I thought you were gonna you were jumping into the filmation one for a second there. No, I was no. Like, there's no ray in the filmation Ghostbusters. Yeah, come on, don't be ridiculous, Blake. Why would you put a ray in in the filmation Ghostbusters? Well, I mean, with light. They already have a gorilla, and that makes it the best. The larger the gorilla, the better the game or show or Donkey Kong Country game. That I'm cl- clearly yes, I'm right and win. Oh, I work in a Burger King with the six snakes in there. Like, this is too colorful. Don't like it. Yeah. I'm good at guessing things. Oh look, he's accurately juggling. I want all the lives. I proved I'm the best at trip dunk Diddy Kong trivia. He looks like a character from like a Sierra game with his glint. No or, or you know what I mean? You're about yeah. to like he really does. He's like the genie in. And... He's the genie! <gasps> He's the genie, but he t- took the eye and put it in his teeth. He ate the genie! Listen, leave that guy alone! Mananan was bad and he had to do something about it. Don't get revenge on the... Ch- in the green aisle. Yeah, I know. You just kind of mangled all those games, didn't you? <laughs> nice recovery with the green aisle, though. Mozilla! <laughs> <laughs> Who for China's made of lava? <laughs> oh my god, that'd be such a great game to play. And you know how like kids have like the game where they where they're, 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 like, the floor is lava. You can play it. It's like, vagina's <laughs> lava. It's like an orgy. And, and it's oh, like... you stuck it in the lava vagina. Oh, now oh. you have AIDS. <laughs> Wait a minute. Very few volcanoes have AIDS. <laughs> That's a stereotype. Just because there's a lot of volcanoes in Africa. That's about enough of that garbage. The, 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 the proles will be happy. I, you know, it's really not as exciting as all that. <laughs> so I get very jazzed about transitional screens. Um, uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, we just completed our gameplay of Donkey Kong Country 2 and Donkey Kong Country 1, the best Donkey Kong Country games for the Super Nintendo. Except for maybe 3. Except for maybe 3. Um, we're here with our good friend uh, Battlecat, who's been very patiently uh, waiting for several months to speak to us. Uh, so we each have about a minute of argument. Battlecat's going to provide the uh, verdict at the end to see which one of our arguments holds water in a gigantic barrel and then throws it at someone. Exactly. All right. So Donkey Kong Country. Now, usually we don't compare old and new ones directly. It's not really fair because, you know, just because a game's older, it had something to work with in its time. And another game is, you know, just because it's got upgraded graphics these days is not really fair. But in this case, we're talking about an original that only came out like a year before the other one. It is the original, and it's what started the whole Donkey Kong Country thing. Um, it's great because you're starting off with actually with Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong uh, we believe he might be Donkey Kong Country or Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong Country not being the name of a character. <laughs> um, it's got a more logical story than the than Donkey Kong Country 2. You get to play as the original characters. And the other thing is it's got a better ramping up of difficulty. It's got a better difficulty curve. Um, The other one kind of jumps around here and there. And because of the logical story and the flow of the story, as well as the flow of the gameplay, it's a bit of a stronger game. Well, you know, see, that's where we have to disagree, Blake, because Donkey Kong Country is awful. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, both games are amazing. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, though, I think uh, fails a lot better because of the focus on the secrets. In Donkey Kong Country 1, secrets are just sort of a thing you bump into and then you get a banana, you get some bananas or a uh, balloon or something like that. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Country 2 has a lot more collectibles, a lot of coins to unlock new levels. There's tons of secret worlds and secret levels you can get to. Um, there's all these different mini games that are incorporated into the coin collecting system, so actually secrets have more of a point. Has more sort of actual gameplay reasons to do it other than letting watching your little percentage sign goes up. Uh, Dixie and Diddy are also better characters to play than Donkey and Diddy. Um, they are much faster, they're much looser. You don't get that sort of heavy plotting feel you get in the first game because both characters are very light and flowing, and you don't get one person who's like, I want to be the light character. No, I want to be the light character both get to be the light character. Yeah, and it's who, amazing. Would want, who would want variation in gameplay? Exactly. Uh, the opening world is also much more interesting. It's not just a jungle, it's like a pirate level, there's all this crazy stuff going on. And also, roller coasters are better than minecarts. <laughs> that was the weakest argument. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to throw it to you, Battle. 
uh, or Battle Cat or BK. Um, Bonky uh, Kong. Bonky Kong. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let us know which one of us you thought had the stronger argument. Um, I think your argument for Donkey Kong Country 1 is definitely a lot stronger. But I do like Donkey Kong Country 2 more. I think you definitely had a much stronger argument. Uh, Alright, uh, that's right. Uh, you know what? That, this is the first time I think we've had somebody who really nailed the analysis of the argument rather than like saying which game of theirs was the favorite. It's true. Uh, so, you, you, so usually our whole premise is a wash. <laughs> but so, Battle Cat lived up to the concept of the show. That's right. Battle Cat understand what was yes. actually happening. We're, more so than we do, <laughs> honestly. I'm an unbiased judge. Exactly. Well, I have another episode of Game Drome. So uh, did we get the right verdict? Were there any arguments you think we missed? Are there any games that you would like to see whipped apart? Submit it to us and we'll submit it to the Master Drive and it may or may not listen. You know, so you can send us stuff through via Twitter, Facebook, in the uh, comment in the section below. below. Uh, we're on Reddit, we're on whatever, throw a rock through our window. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe because apparently yeah. if you say that, people will do it. Apparently. Also, if you want to be a celebrity judge, contact us through any of those various reasons and we might listen. That's not the correct wording, but see you next time on Game Bro. Bah, 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 bah. You're not off camera.